markets are starting to question themselves, the bloggers exposing our blisters, just the everyday words of everyday people shifting the tone of televised speeches. When we look beyond our next meal, our next meal. Cameron for Tweak Town here. We're here at A Data or A Data, depending on where you're from. And uh, we're looking at uh, one of the test systems they've uh, set up for us. And this is to showcase their latest SSDs, as well as uh, the uh, XPG gaming series of uh, memory. So first of all, we'll focus on the uh, SSDs. What we've got uh, are a couple um, SSDs connected to the system. One of them is the S599, as you can see here. That is based on the Sandforce uh, 1200 controller. And uh, there's a look at the SSD there. And it's connected to the system here over uh, SATA 2 on a, um, an ASUS motherboard with a uh, Core i7-920 processor. Now you can see here that uh, we've got IO meter running and you can see a score of almost uh, 46,000. Um, the normal score for a standard a slower SSD is between 10 and 20,000. So you can see here the performance is rather good from the uh, S559 um, SSD. In another test here with Ado, uh Disk Benchmark, you can see here um, there is a, uh, a write speed of almost 278 megabytes per second and a, um, you can see a read speed of uh, almost 285 megabytes per second. What a data did note to us uh, just before was that uh, this, uh, these benchmark numbers you can see here are actually performing faster than the, the spec that um, a data claims. So the read speed that uh, a data claim is 280 megabytes per second. You can see here almost uh, 285 uh, megabytes per second and the write the drive is uh, spec to perform at around 270 megabytes per second, but here you can see almost 278 megabytes per second. So uh, the performance claims are real, and this, uh, the drive based on the Sandforce 1200 controller um, is a beast and it performs really fast. Now, the next uh, test that we're going to show you is we have the N002. Now this is a new, brand new SSD from a data that uh, uses a USB 3 uh, connector to hook into the system. Um, it is a uh, 128 gig drive. Um, if you don't have USB 3 or you don't want to use uh, USB 3 or even uh, USB 2, um, you can also connect it up over SATA 2 because it does have connectors on the back as well. Now as for the performance uh, numbers for that drive, we're just going to bring it up now. Okay, now as for those uh, performance numbers, we've got uh, the drive hooked up. It is a drive. I can confirm that for you. And you can see here using uh, one of the latest versions of Crystal Diskmark, a read speed of almost 200 megabytes per second and a write speed of uh, like almost uh, 162 megabytes per second. Um, so that's basically uh, in line with the performance that uh, a data claim from this drive. So you can actually see it working. And uh, keep in mind, this is USB 3. It's an external drive. And we're seeing very good performance here. In some of the uh, previous content we've done, we get a lot of questions asking, um, you know, can you use a USB 3 drive to install Windows and boot from? Uh, we just confirmed here with a data. And yes, you can use this drive. Um, <clears throat> to install Windows and actually boot from it. So it will be detectable in your uh, motherboard BIOS. It just might mean, you know, getting the uh, latest BIOS uh, for your motherboard. And next up, what we're looking at uh, is the ADATA uh, XPG Gaming Series version 2 memory. You can see it here in, uh, stored in the system. Um, this is a total of 12 gig of memory. Um, these are DDR3 1600 uh, modules in uh, triple channel. Uh, coming close here on the label, you can see that right here. Um, now, what the ADAT have actually done is um, they've overclocked these modules to run at a uh, much faster speed. 
you can see that it's running at about 1866 uh, megahertz. Um, but what's important to note here is also the timings have been uh, improved a lot and it's also uh, has a command rate of uh, 1T, which is uh, the best performance you can get from uh, DDR3 memory modules. Getting a closer look at the ADATA XPG uh, memory here, we can uh, see that uh, we've got a blank PCB here and what ADATA has uh, just announced I believe pretty recently is that uh, they are now using on some of their memory modules, their high-end high memory modules are using a two ounce copper PCB. Now we all know that uh, Gigabyte were the first to pioneer this on their motherboards um, and now ADATA have um, t uh, used this technology and uh, have been the first out of all of the memory companies to implement it um, into memory modules. So basically this, uh, the 2 ounce copper PCB, it helps with um, the, uh, the internal electronics basically of how the memory works, uh, stability and also um, improving overclockability and you can get a um, close look here at the, uh, the PCB uh, module and uh, it's going to be really hard to see but if we come in close um, you'll see that the PCB is a little uh, thicker than usual because it does have uh, two ounce of copper inside um, and if we come over to the main screen um, we've just had uh, some uh, benchmarks performed of the memory and you can see some of the numbers here um, around uh, 18,000 megabytes per second um, and then you can see the write and all of the other tests as well so um, yeah this is uh, a serious uh, set of uh, kit of memory so this is a look at the um, a data system, the test system that's been set up here for us to give you guys a, um, a look at. This has been Cameron for Tweaktown visiting A data in Taipei.